Okay, so let's create the pockets for our jacket. So I want to go to my curve again and click Alt and click on the mesh I want to work on. Make that a little bit smaller. There we go. Uh, that's too small. I'm going to make it bigger. Here we go. All right, there we go. Hit delete. Get rid of the curve. I'm going to make the brush smaller this time and come here over the top. And I'm going to hit delete. And then I'm going to group split again and just merge those two. Merge down. There we go. And so now a quick divide. And I'll take my clay brush, and I need to divide it quite a bit. It's pretty low, actually. Yeah, and just sculpt directly on top. I'm going to turn my back face masking on so that I don't go through and hollow it out. Here we go. Just to add, this is, I want to use my wrinkles if I want to um, kind of tie this in so it doesn't look like a floating piece. Just smooth it really quickly. Click Alt, go back to my jacket, take the mask off, and just tie it in to here. A little bit and underneath the arms here. Let's get a softer brush. Um, here we go. Just a nice soft alpha. There we go. That's a little better. And let's bring those edges up here. Now, because the resolution is pretty low, we won't have a tough time smoothing it out. So let's go ahead and just make those curves. And let's do the elbows also. I'm going to exaggerate it a little bit so we can have a little something to look at. Let's bring this around here. Now, you can turn off the symmetry at this point. Um, but because of time, I'm just going to leave it on so we can start to see everything unfold. And just smooth it out. There we go. Then you can go in and add those extra little details, of course. That'll kind of bring it all together. Smooth that out again. Now, here's where, you know, you could add the stitch brush, brush to tie these things in. Um, smooth this a little bit more. Standing out a little too much. Let's grab the stitch brush. I hit B. I'm going to hit S. Let's see if we can find it in here. Here we go. I'll use the basic stitch and Alt to go back to the jacket. And let's just drag this guy. Now, if I raise my resolution, if I raise my resolution, I'm going to get better results. So let's quickly undo that and uh, let's go divide it again. Now we have a million. So I'm going to zoom in also. And just go right alongside here. And just do it. Because I really don't want that to be the star of what I'm doing. So turn my smooth down a little bit and just taper it so that it's not so noticeable. There we go. And I can go all throughout the jacket and implement that. So I can see a couple areas I still want to smooth out more. I'll turn my smooth back up. I don't want those wrinkles to be that noticeable. And once we do things like add um, color and texture and noise to our object, it all comes together fairly well. So I'll just go around and smooth all of it out. And so there you go. So we're able to very quickly create a jacket. We're able to add ridges, pockets, uh, bottom part of the jacket. We're able to add a collar. You can go and add the same techniques from here to the collar to tie it in if you want, or you can leave it naked. 
Um, so I'm going to include the mesh so you can practice and go through the techniques if you like. So that's really it. Um, we only really focus on the extract tool, which is right here. And we use a couple of the brushes, the curve tube brush, the snap tube brush, and we periodically will use Ziri Mesher and DynaMesh. Um, Ziri Mesher is pretty simple to use. It's right here under the geometry tab again. And you can go one way or the other. You can go 100% or you can go zero, depending on how many polys you'd like to have. Um, turn on my poly frame. That's going to matter to you. So that's it. I hope this was a helpful tutorial and that you enjoyed um, what you learned. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. I'm often on the CG Cookie site, so you can ask me questions there if there's something I said that wasn't too clear. And um, I'd love to uh, help you in any way. Thank you for watching the tutorial, and I'm um, having a great time with it.